I rebuilt the radiant heat system in my house just over one year ago, and I installed tankless heaters for the domestic hot water and for the radiant heat. This is a little gadget called a universal appliance adapter. Pretty simple in concept. It has a flapper valve in here that prevents cold air from rushing back down through the tankless heater and possibly freezing it up. Primarily a concern if the heater is located very close to the outside wall. Not so much a concern from me. But then it has this arrangement, which is an annular thing. Any condensation that farms from the exhaust gases will run back in here and drip into this annular space and comes out this nipple. And from here you connect a silicone tube, you create a water trap, and then you drain that condensate. That condensate is sulfuric acid. And this one started leaking right here. And you should be able to see it left a trail coming all the way down here. And then in the following pictures, you can see where it was puddling or pooling on top of my tankless heater and causing quite a bit of corrosion. I discovered this problem about six months ago and they sent me a replacement for this. But then yesterday, I was looking at the domestic hot water heater and the silicone tube that pushes on here and creates a water trap. That's a piece of 3 8 inch diameter silicone and it decided to split and crack in at least four places. Early this year, it got down to minus 10, minus 15 around here, which is quite a bit colder than most years. For the domestic hot water, that heater, the longest it runs is if you're taking a shower or filling a washing machine or something like that. For the heater used on the radiant heat in really cold weather, that will continue to run and the exhaust pipe will come up to temperature. It'll be warm enough to where the exhaust gas does not condense inside the pipe. But when it gets to the outside air, it will condense on the exhaust pipe, which is on your roof. And in my case, it farms some very large chunks of ice. The one in this photo is about the size of a bowling ball. My main concern with that was if it should happen to freeze the entire exhaust opening shut, which it did not. When that did melt and fall off, it made quite a bit of racket on that metal roof. For a tankless heater that's your domestic hot water, it turns on and off quite a few times every day. So you do not have to worry about wasps or hornets building a nest inside your exhaust pipe. For my snowmelt system, I had wasps build inside of it before I woke up to the fact that I needed to cap that. Now I keep a cap on the exhaust for that snowmelt heater and only take it off in the wintertime. For the radiant heat in the house, the exhaust pipe is way up on top of the roof and it's really no longer accessible to me. I have a 30 gallon insulated tank in the equipment room and I keep it set so that the heater will come on about once a day and that's enough exhaust gas and fumes and that to go through there to uh, discourage any bugs from building a nest in there. So anyway, these are some unusual things that you can experience with a tankless heater or a new installation. You just need to pay attention and inspect your equipment once in a while.